Hello students, welcome to this video lesson in ICT for grade 8 series on health, safety and ethics. Today we are going to learn about computer crime. In this video, you will learn what computer crime is, some examples of computer crime, we will discuss some consequences of computer crimes and what precautions to take. This will be followed by a quick test and a recap. What is computer crime? Computer crime refers to the use of a computer to commit an illegal act. An example of computer crime is destroying or corrupting of computer files intentionally. Computer crime is punishable by law. Some examples of computer crime are hacking, software piracy, spreading computer viruses, and identity theft. Hacking. Hacking means accessing someone else's computer without permission, with the intention to steal, change, or delete confidential information. Consequences of hacking. Valuable data is lost or deleted. Data is manipulated or changed. Personal information is stolen, for example, usernames and passwords. Precautions against hacking. Use strong passwords. Strong passwords should be long, with a combination of letters, digits and symbols. But be careful, too long or too complex passwords are difficult to remember. Change your passwords regularly. Use a firewall. A firewall is a program that prevents unauthorized access to a computer when it is connected to a network such as the Internet. Software piracy. Software piracy refers to making illegal copies of software with the intention to sell or distribute the copies. For example, making copies of computer games and distributing them to friends. Consequences of software piracy. Software companies suffer losses. No profit is made by companies if people use pirated software. Pirated software can carry viruses that infect computers. Software piracy is considered a serious computer crime and offenders may be fined and or jailed. Spreading computer viruses. A computer virus can automatically make copies of itself and spread to uninfected systems. Knowingly, sending virus-infected files to someone is a serious offence. Consequences of virus infection. The computer takes a long time to start or does not start up at all. Some hardware such as mouse or printer may not work properly. Irritating messages appear on the screen. Important files get deleted. Precautions against virus infection. Do not share removable storage devices such as pen drive with friends. Download games or software from reliable sources only, such as Play Store or App Store. Do not open emails from unknown senders. Install an antivirus software and update it regularly. Identity theft. Identity theft refers to the illegal use of someone else's identity for personal interest or gain. One such example is when someone is using your profile to send friend requests or threats to people. Consequences of identity theft. The person whose identity is stolen 
may lose all money in bank, have to pay for loans never taken, receive bills for items never bought, be arrested and imprisoned for crimes never committed. Precautions against identity theft. Use of strong passwords with a combination of letters, numbers and symbols. Change your passwords frequently. Never share personal information like birth date, credit card number, bank account number, PIN over social media by email or by phone. Dear students, now let us do a quick test to evaluate what you have learned today. Read each statement carefully and answer accordingly. You will be given a few seconds to answer. Number 1. Computer crime refers to the use of a computer to commit an illegal act. Is it true or false? The answer is true. Any offense committed using a computer is called a computer crime. Number 2. Which of the following is not a computer crime? A. Hacking B. Firewall O. C. Software piracy The answer is B. A firewall is a program that prevents unauthorized access to a computer in a network. Number 3. Computer crime is not punishable by law. Is it true or false? The answer is false. A computer crime is an offence and is therefore punishable by law. Number 4. Which of the following refers to accessing someone else's computer without permission? A. Copying B. Hacking or C. Downloading The answer is B. Gaining unauthorized access to a computer system is called hacking. Number 5. Software piracy refers to making legal copies of software. Is it true or false? The answer is false. Making illegal copies of software is referred to as software piracy. Well, students, this is the end of our quick test. I hope that you were able to get all the correct answers. Now it's time for a recap of today's lesson. Computer crime is the use of a computer to commit an illegal act. Hacking refers to accessing someone else's computer without permission. Software piracy refers to making illegal copies of software. A computer virus can automatically make copies of itself and spread to uninfected systems. Identity theft refers to the illegal use of someone else's identity for personal interest or gain. We have seen how computer crime can have various consequences and what precautions to take so as not to become victims of computer crime. Dear students, thank you for your attention. I hope that you have enjoyed today's lesson. Goodbye and see you soon.